Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be my monthly favorites for the month of July. So this is everything beauty related that I've loved and then I also have a couple things that I've hauled recently that I didn't really like so I thought I'd fill you in on all that type of good stuff. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first favorites of the month would have to be these Bath & Body Works fragrances I picked up. I hauled these in a video and I got the scent Peony and Freesia and I really really love these. I got the body creams as well as the body mist and I just I absolutely love these. These smell so good. They're really florally but they're like a really pretty clean florally. I do think I like the Freesia scent a little bit more. It just smells a little bit more like fresh to me. Ugh. I just love it. It smells like oh, I got it in my mouth. It just smells so fresh and clean and like uplifting. I don't know. It's just a really, really great scent. So I highly recommend you guys check it out if you get the chance. Um, another thing that I've really been loving are these Mali System sheet masks. And I did haul these in a big beauty haul. I can link both. Well, actually, I'll link all the videos I mentioned down below if I do mention any like hauls. But I got these sheet masks from Amazon and I'm pretty sure it came with like 16 for like 10 bucks. And it comes with all different types. And I was kind of scared that like they would just be kind of cheap and they wouldn't do anything. But I absolutely love them. I put them on after I take a shower at night and then, you know, you have the stuff on your face, the essence. If you've never tried a sheet mask, I really, really recommend doing it. Um, I recommend it for any skin type. I have more like acne prone skin or oily skin and I was scared that something like this something really moisturizing would do more harm than good but actually I think keeping your skin in balance and keeping it well hydrated is really really important even for acne prone skin and these are a really really effective way to do that and they're really not that expensive like I said I got like 16 of these for about $10 and it's a really great way to treat yourself I'll put one in the fridge like a few minutes before I take a shower and let it cool down and just it feels so nice and soothing on the skin and I really think it's helped balance my skin out a lot. Um, I, these are just the ones that I have left over, but I've loved every single one that I've tried and um, I will link down below where I got it on Amazon. I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that, but in case you guys want to check these out, I love sheet masks. I'm a huge fan and especially if you can get them like inexpensive and like a variety. I like getting varieties like this, not just strictly like a pack of the same kind. Okay, so we'll talk about a product I didn't like a whole lot and this is the Thayer's Natural Remedy Witch Hazel, I don't, it doesn't, like, I can't read the label because Amazon thought it was cool to put, like, the barcode sticker right here. It's the alcohol-free toner with rose petal. And I have this huge bottle that I ordered from Amazon as also a part of a haul with the sheet masks. And I feel like this made my skin break out, which is really, which really makes me upset because it has a lot of really good ingredients, a lot of, like, natural ingredients. So I, I'm not, like, really prone to sensitive skin, but this stuff kind of made my skin break out. So I'm not really sure, like, what happened, but I'm hesitant to use it. Like, you know, I don't really mess around with breakouts, so. Okay, another favorite from this month, and this was definitely a surprise to me, but it's these LA Colors pressed powders that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just think these are so, so good. I am surprised I haven't heard more people talk about them. I use this one. This is in the color Tan for bronzing up the face and then this one's just a setting powder and this is in the color beige. These powders are so, so good and this is coming from someone with like oilier skin. I cannot believe how good these powders are and then they're just super soft and they have really good coverage to them and they also mattify really, really, really nicely. So the only complaint that I have is mine refuse to snap shut. Like I don't know what the deal is. Like if I press any harder, they're just, they're gonna break. But um, so I can't really like travel with these, but these are really, really awesome powders. And for a dollar, I highly recommend you check them out at your Dollar Tree. So good. And with that being said, um, I've gotten a lot, a lot of views on my Dollar Tree videos that I've put up recently, and I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. So if you are one of those new subscribers, thank you so much. And, you know, I get emails of everybody who subscribes to me, and I always click on them, and I look at your guys' pictures, and I like to see who subscribed to me. So I just wanted to throw that out there that I see you guys, and I really, really appreciate you coming to my channel. I mean, I'm still new to YouTube, so I don't really know, like where this is all gonna go. I mean, I've just been flooded with new subscribers and it's just amazing to me and I'm really thankful and I just wanted to say hey and thank you. Okay, so moving on, this mascara I've really, really been impressed with. This is the NYX Double Stacked Mascara and I've used this in a NYX tutorial and I've never used a NYX mascara because I've never really heard anybody talk about a NYX mascara. Like, 
I don't know, I just didn't really see them being good, but it's a fiber mascara, so you use the fiber, well, you use the regular mascara, which is this one, and then you put on these little fibers. I will say the fibers are so, like, they, they really tend to get in my eyes because they're just, I'll show you, I'll do like a close up, if you guys can see that, like, these little, it looks like a cotton, like cotton has been spun on here and it gets all in my eyes, but it makes your eyelashes look really pretty. So this is the mascara I am wearing today and I just find it really easy to build my lashes up. I'm really into volumizing mascaras and this really does the job. I really, really have enjoyed this a lot. I even like just the plain mascara by itself. I think it's really, really good. Okay, next up on the list, I have two blushes. I have this Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre Blush and I've worn this like seriously every single day. My friend Joanna sent it to me. And it's just the prettiest, like, blush color. It's just so pretty for every day. And I love that it has kind of, like, a built-in highlighter. I mean, I am wearing a highlight on top of this. But, I mean, I just like to have, you know, a one-and-done kind of product like this where I don't have to, like, put layers of makeup on. And it's just a really great, like, everyday color, like I said. And then this blush, this is from Physicians Formula. And it's their Argan Wear Ultra Nourishing Argan Oil Blush in the color Rose. What I love about this blush is how it smells. It smells like old man perfume, but it's a really pleasant scent for some reason. And I just, I do really, really like this blush color. I've been wearing this a lot this month. Okay, so another product that, I think this is the last product that didn't really work out for me, and this is the Jordana Faux Brow Shape and Set Gel, and I got this in a Kmart haul that I did, the back to school haul, and so this is supposed to set your brows, right? And like, I literally just feel like it does nothing, I, I just don't even know what the point of this product is. I tried to use this on like no makeup days where like my brows are just kind of like out of control, and this just does nothing, like it's, it literally did absolutely nothing for my brows so that's really all I can say like I wouldn't recommend this to anybody the elf one elf has a really good brow mascara for like a dollar okay and the last thing that I've really really been loving this month is this NYC expert last matte lip color and I have the color noho matte nude and I also got this in my Kmart haul and this is just the prettiest color it is a little bit drying but I love the opacity of it and I don't like liquid lipsticks that like never dry down you know I do prefer one that kind of sticks and adheres to your lips and this one definitely does and this is pretty inexpensive and I just again I really really love the color it's like a really pretty like peachy salmony nude so that is it for my July favorite sorry if I kind of rushed through it I've been sick for the past few days so if I sound a little nasally during the video I apologize which I hate when people apologize for sounding sick when they're sick. That doesn't really make sense. Like, why would you apologize for something like that? But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!